Hello everyone, welcome to the Johnson Supply Cafferty Group. Quick review of the basic programming for the Goodman Comfort Bridge system. Uh, here's an example of our control board. We're going to start here and we'll see the 1-2-RC for the communicating equipment. And in this case, we're just going to look at the legacy wiring portion. Uh, and these units call for a legacy thermostat only. We do not connect communicating thermostats on the Comfort Bridge. And in this case, we're going to take this thermostat and we're going to wire it legacies in the R, C, G, W, and the Y. One heat, one cool. Uh, and that will run all the equipment, including the communicating heat pumps. Uh, but during a call for cool, we're going to energize both the G and the Y from the thermostat. And the, uh, the Y normally would give us our CFM for our cooling call. But if we don't have it switched on, it's going to be ignored. And when it's ignored and you call for cool, we're going to get the uh, fan CFM to come on. And we're going to be running short on the CFM. All right, this is just one of the lab units we're taking a look at here. Uh, you'll see I'm calling for cool in the thermostat. Uh, you'll see the communicating equipment in the bottom left disconnected because I'm on a wire at Legacy. Uh, but you'll see we're only seeing the fan call. We're not seeing AC displayed because the Y is entirely ignored at this point. Uh, we have to enter the system and we have to enable the Y. And we'll have to enable the W on the electric heat as well. All right, you should have idle, IDL, displayed. And in this case, you see the communicating equipment unhooked on the one two. Uh, and if you don't have idle displayed, you can disconnect the control wire on the other Phoenix plug. And I'm going to scroll using the right or left button. I'm going to scroll to ODS and push Enter. And you'll see it's in the off position. I'm going to go ahead and just choose one AC and hit the center button two times. And we're back at ODS. And I'm going to scroll now until I have TON for tonnage. And you'll see it's 6.0. Uh, and this does a uh, 1 ton 400 CFM, and in this case I have a 2. It uh, doesn't mean I have to choose 2.0. If you have a higher sensible, you can do a 2.1 or 2.2, or of course, if you want to get a little more humidity out of 1.9. Uh, here we are, we'll push the button twice for 2. And this happens to be an electric air handler, so I can actually scroll through until I see EHT and choose uh, the desired uh, KW. In this case, it's 5, so now the W will not be ignored. All right, try and keep this video short. I do have on the screen, you can pause it or out of the install book. All of your menu options, and some of these are settings, and some of these are commands. We can uh, look at the last six faults as a command. We can reset uh, timings as a command for the outdoor unit. We must also go in and do CFS, and here you'll see on the right the CFS, the comfort setting breakdowns where we can set the algorithms. We also have status codes where we'll see one AC or two AC when you walk up to the unit, one heat pump, two heat pump, and we know what operation mode it's in. All right, it was a quick review. We try and stay under three minutes for the quick ones. I uh, hope that helps. Again, you can pause and look at the menu items. Uh, look at the install manual as well. Uh, contact us with any questions. Thank you.